Hello everyone and welcome back to another Star Wars figure review. Before I get on to Wave 4 of the Vintage Collection, um, I thought I'd give you a look at a few Clone Wars figures today. Um, the next few figures that I'm going to show you are from Wave 6, I believe, um, of 2010, or if you're keeping track of it this way, it's Wave 1 of 2011. Um, the first figure that I'm going to give you a look at is another astromech droid, and this time around it's this one. This is R7A7, also known as a Tano's astromech droid. Um, not seen, you know, too prolifically throughout the Clone Wars. Um, it's kind of one of those blink and you'll miss it droids. Um, he or she doesn't have um, a particularly active role throughout the Clone Wars, other than just sitting inside Ahsoka's Jedi Starfighter. Um, but it's still a pretty cool figure nonetheless, and since we do have Ahsoka Tano's Jedi Starfighter um, available on the market, then it makes sense to release her astromech droid as well. So there we go. Before I get on to the figure's details, I'm going to give you a look at the packaging that he or she comes in. Um, I'm probably going to find out by reading the character description um, as to whether or not um, this character is a male or female. Although, that's quite difficult to tell with droids if you ask me. But anyway, um, there is the packaging for R7A7. Um, as you can see, it's still the Shadow of the Dark Side blue and black packaging. A very cool image of R7 up in the top corner. Um, on the back, you've got a still image from one of the Clone Wars episodes, as well as an image of the figure, character description there, and the rest of the wave pictured along the bottom. And as you can see, this particular wave features a repack of Hondo Onaka, um, as well as Obi Wan Kenobi in his season three attire, um, Clone Trooper Heavy in training gear, and Cad Bane with Turbo 360. And I'll be reviewing all three of those figures um, very soon. Um, I've already reviewed Hondo Anaka when he was previously released, so if you want to check out my review on him, um, then feel free to do so. And uh, before we get on to the figure, I'm just going to quickly read it from the back of the packaging. R7A7 is a circus astromech droid. He joins her on many missions and provides navigational and technical support when Ahsoka flies her Jedi Starfighter. Called R7 by Ahsoka, the droid is her co-pilot during the mission to take out the Separatist blockade surrounding the planet Ryloth. There we go, that is uh, R7A7's packaging. Um, once again, before I give you a look at the figure, we're going to take a look at the standard um, battle game card and display stand that these figures come with. There we go. Um, as you can see, it's the same image that's on the card back. Um, that's on the battle game card. Obviously, it's the uh, same old stand that we get with all of these figures. So, there we go. That is R7A7's battle game card and display stand. Now, on to the figure. Um, basically, this guy is just a repaint of all the previous Clone Wars astromech droids. Um, this particular one is a repaint of R3S6, also known as Goldie. Um, you can tell that by looking on the side of the legs. Um, he doesn't have the holes for the jets like R2-D2 does. Um, so there we go. Um, as you can see, he's in a very nice, um, what appears to be a brown and grey colour scheme. Although looking at the uh, still images from the series, um, I'd say that R7A7 is much closer to a, a brown and white colour as opposed to this really flat grey. Um, but still pretty cool nonetheless. As you can see, he's got some green infills there on his torso and on the head. They do look very, very cool. And like with all of the Clone Wars astromech droids, um, this particular figure has a ton of hidden gadgets. Um, obviously, the first ones are the little tools that come out of the torso. Just open up the doors and you can reveal the uh, what looks like a pincher and some sort of screwdriver. Um, once again, I'm not entirely sure on the technical name of these tools, so if you want to leave a comment and let me know what they are, then do feel free to do so. It's nice to know things, because knowledge is power. So there we go. Um, obviously, aside from the tools on the torso, he's also got the uh, pop-out sensor scope that you have to pull out manually on the top of the head. And that looks pretty cool as well. And 
of course on the back he's got the little trap door that opens up and reveals the uh, what looks like a grappling hook if you just bear with me while I pull that out and these things can be quite fiddly to do yeah, but once again um, the grappling hook is on a string and it's quite a long one and, you, know, you can attach this to uh, whatever you like I suppose don't really know entirely what this tool is for um, but it's pretty cool nonetheless and then all you do just to wind the head back in is swivel the dome round and the uh, string will eventually just wind its way back inside the body and uh, took away nicely so that's a pretty cool little feature um, and one that's nice to see carried over throughout all these Clone Wars astromechs um, in terms of articulation once again this guy has about as much articulation as you can pack into an astromech droid he's got a swivel dome um, swivel shoulders and hinged ankles um, the third leg is removable and of course he is wheeled on the bottom as well so all in all a great figure um, definitely worth picking up if you're a fan of astromechs um, definitely worth picking up if you've got Ahsoka's um, Jedi Starfighter because it seems that they always tend to release the Jedi Starfighters um, before they release the astromech droids to go in them so this is a figure that we've been waiting quite a long time for so there we go, that is R7A7, once again a Sir Katano's astromech droid from Star Wars The Clone Wars, and I'll be back to review some more Clone Wars figures for you soon. So thanks for watching this review, hope you enjoyed watching, and until next time, keep collecting, and may the force be with you.